Called the life of, life of scribes. Once there was this little kid that wanted to be a scribe, so he kept asking his dad, but his dad wouldn't let him. So one day he snuck out of the house and went to the to the teacher and said, "I want to be a scribe." So the the teacher took him into the class. Wait, 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 wait. Chalk, I need chalk. And the teacher taught him every day until he was the best scribe in Egypt. And, and one day the teacher told him that he was going to be a scribe for the Pharaoh. One day the father found out that, the, that he was going to be a scribe for the Pharaoh and the father was pleased. And his, and his son so uh, son grew, as the son grew up to be the best pharaoh in the kingdom. Um, this is a story about like what the pharaoh does and how he dies and all that stuff. And then um, when when the king, when the pharaoh calls his um, scribe, how the scribe's life is. And then we're gonna show him when he dies and everything, and at his afterlife, and it'll appear later at some point. And so, like. No, 
The children cannot stay with me. They cannot. They're stupid. <laughs> and I don't want to care because they just make too much noise and I can't concentrate on my work. Now get them out of here. Can <laughs> you believe that? Those darn pesky kids wanting to steal me all day long. They, they're not even eligible to walk around this room by themselves. Subscribe! Subscribe! Take this and this and draw me a picture. I would like to be entertained. And yes, I, I will go, be going to the west to go visit to the Valley of the King. I, I have to go visit my father's caravan. I think someone's going to try to rob his, his caravan. <coughs>
devices. I am Thoth, the god of wisdom. Oh, my Thoth! Since you are so lonely, I will grant your wish. You will live forever, and so will you. And now you will live. Now you are Osiris, you're gonna be the god of death. Well thank you, is it? And Isis, you will live forever. And that is the story of Isis and Osiris. are put in jars. But the heart is kept in the body. So Anubis can weigh the heart in the afterlife. Egypt what? And then 
and then design a crown, putting both the white and red crown and making it to a double crown. To, it symbolized uniting the two kingdoms. Um, they made uh, they made the capital of Egypt, Memphis, so they can control all, um, all of Egypt. And after that, all the pharaohs of Egypt wore a double crown to symbolize the union of two lands. Carter is wearing the deceased pharaoh's most prized possessions along with her. The grave robbers, the grave robbers have stolen all the pharaoh's jewels. I thought I heard a noise. Where's the jewels? Guard, come here. <laughs> the treasure is found at last. The guards can safely put can put the treasure safely back in the tomb.
Well, I guess I guess you um you have some extra time because since you're a farmer now, so do, um the people are, are are already starting the pyramid. They're almost to the top. They 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 still haven't figured out how they're gonna do the holes yet. The spirit is gonna be lifted pretty high. I guess I guess that's it. Yes, yeah. yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>